What's up, it's a Cupcake Man, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this stone house right here. Um, it's uh, going to be set up in different parts, this tutorial, and um, first part is going to be the resources that you're going to need to make this. Um, it's pretty expensive to make this, so I suggest making it in creative. And um, here are the resources you're going to need. You're going to need a couple of stacks of wood, um, uh, like a lot of stacks of wood. Uh, so then, and, and these are estimate, are all like estimates of what you need. And so that's 20 grass blocks, um, uh, two and a half stacks of quartz, uh, 12 fences, that's for exact, um, two stacks and uh, four stone slabs, about 10 bone meal for the um, the window grass pieces, some 25 string, um, 45 glass panes, 14 glass, about 20 of um, your type of carpet and two of, two of the beach. Um, uh, four cobblestone walls and a decent amount of stacks of stone. Um, that's this. This is just for uh, for survival. If you need to build this in survival creative, you know you already have the resources, so you don't need any of that stuff. And also, you got two stacks of stone bricks that you will need to make this this build. So in the background, here's the finished build that is going to be, and um, that's the exact one because I recorded it after, after I was done with the tutorial. I had some recording problems in the, um, so um, the house in the uh, right next to it is uh, one part of it. So I, um, I had recording problems, so I had to switch to another house. And um, so yeah, this is the finished product right here, and that's what it looked like. Um, it can vary. You can, um, you don't have to put the windows where you want, um, where I have them at. Um, you don't have to same color carpets and stuff like that, but. Um, being back in the next part. The second part of the tutorial, and this is going to be the first step to it, or the bottom floor of the stone house. And um, so, yeah, those are the materials you're going to need in your hand for right now. And so, right now, you're going to build seven blocks over in any direction you want to. You want to, okay, so this is going to be across three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So you're going to build 15 across, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11, um, that way, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, that way, and then 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, and then fill that in like that, you know, I have it right here, and then you're going to build uh, 4 up, well right now I'm going to build 4 up, and then I'm going to put another layer on top of it for the, um, the where the floor for the next floor is going to be. So right now I'm going to make the door, this is going to be like a three-way door right here. Uh, we're going to fill it in with glass and make like a, you know, one spot door. And here, this is how you make the windows right here. Oh, first of all, I need to um, fill in these, the top for the next floor, for the flooring for the um, next floor. And that's where we're going to place the, the um, wooden planks at, or you, you can have a different flooring if you want, but um, you can put carpet over it too, that's another thing. So right now we're just going to fill this in with the uh, wooden planks. Okay, so the next uh, step is going to make these windows. These are the um, windows, like kind of like what you're going to do for each window. Um, it's a cool design. So you're going to put two grass blocks there, and then you're going to get string. Uh, you're going to get string and place them on the side right there, like that. And um, it's kind of like invisible. And then you put two carpets over it to make like a little cover and make it a little more colorful for your house. And you're just going to um, repeat that however uh, many times you want and wherever you want. Um, uh, you might want to leave a space, uh, a three by three space, um, for a fireplace on the side of your house. Um, that's just up to you, and you just just fill in the windows wherever you want. You don't have to do the same uh, window placement that I'm doing, 
it's just it's just optional and um, that can also uh, cut down on resources if you if you if you're you know tight on that So right there I left a little space for um, the fireplace that I'm going to do and it's going to be uh, uh, pretty tall. So um, it's, this, this whole house is going to be um, two stories of like cow space and then uh, the top is going to be a deck and um, with a little house thing at the top and it's, it's um, pretty cool. But yeah, so um, I'll probably make one more window. Okay, so that's pretty much it for uh, first step uh, one and or step two, I mean. And so um, I'll see you in the next step. All right, what's up? This is the third part of this tutorial, and this is going to be the second floor of this house and um, the windows. It's just like the the first or the second step to this tutorial is. It's just the yeah, the second floor. Um, you can just do really the same thing as you did on the first floor. I had some recording problems when I was making this, so it's it was um this is a different house, it's not the um the same one, and um, it recorded and then it wouldn't save or something like that, so I had to re redo that. So yeah, in the background you can see the um the final the the finishing uh, of the third step um it just wouldn't record so that's that's why that's in the background and that's why I'm on a different house I apologize for that So right here I made a irregular shaped um, window. It's not like the, all the other windows. That's because that that face of the house was a little off, and um, so I wanted to like, compensate for that by making that. And um, so you're just gonna just make the regular windows like that. They'll connect because um, they're too close together and stuff. And how the windows um, I shape them and stuff, so they're gonna um, they connect. That's not a worry at all. That's it's supposed to be like that. I like that one. One did and. Um, same thing again, you don't have to make the windows in the same place. You can make them in different places and uh, um, just get different combinations and it can look pretty cool no matter what. And so yeah, same thing with the string, just do that. And you can use any any colored uh, carpets you want. And Also, um, if you want to leave a fireplace, make sure you leave that space open for that fireplace on the second floor also so that it um, you don't have a fireplace going through a window and it looks, you know, stupid. And see if you're here, I'm not doing two of the same window um, on the second floor. I'm not doing it on the same uh, spot. I'm doing it in the middle of both of them. And it, um, it connects, but it still looks good. It's not, you know, the same thing over and over again. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. So 
so right now I'm just gonna fill in this this top floor of the uh of the house getting ready for the third floor to come in, which is the um the next part of this tutorial, which is gonna be the the top of the house, like kinda like it's kinda like a deck. It's gonna be on the top with a little um hut on top and, uh to go in the, the house and um the um interior is the last part of this tutorial and um I'm already gonna do the interior and then I'm gonna um uh, showcase it afterwards. So um so yeah I just fill this in and that's pretty much it for the um the third part of this tutorial and that's the finishing product right there. Um well finishing product for this step and so I'll see you guys in the four step Okay, I'm back, and this is the fourth step to this tutorial, and this is where you're gonna make the deck on the top of the house and the hut on top of the house. And to start this off, we're gonna place another layer of stone all around the the regular house that we did for the other layers. It's just gonna be one high, or one more block higher. Okay, there we go and so we're the next part is going to make a hut you can make it anywhere you want you don't have to make it where i made it in the corner you can make it on one side of it or you can yeah just leave it how i had it you're going to want to make that as high as you want um i think i made it four high i think so um you can you can make it five high however high you want it but uh, it doesn't really matter So now we're gonna make a door. You don't have to make the door in the same place too. You can make it on the other side or the other face of the, the house. The next step is we're gonna get fences and we're gonna place them on the, the corners of the house to get like a little support, support beam for the, the cover place that's going to go on the top. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to do tiles on the top but you can also do the the carpet the carpet with a string it, it looks it looks nicer that way but um, it would it would take a lot more time and a lot more resources to do that. So like I'm doing right now you just fill it in with tile. Okay, so that's it for that part, and then we're going to make the fireplace uh, next. So you're gonna you want to get your stone bricks, your cobblestone fences, and your your tiles, your or your stone tiles, and you're gonna uh, want to cut a, a a three by three spot in the house, or we just leave the just cut the wall open on the um the place where you want it, and then that's where you're gonna place your 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 f f f fireplace. You're gonna to want to make it three by three, so you're gonna place just just fill it. You can fill it in with a uh, nine by nine, or you can leave a hole in it and then take it out. So like like I'm doing right now, and you can make it however high you want it. You don't have to make it as um, high as I can, or as I, I'm doing, or you can make it a lot higher if you want to. So now you're going to want to place the cobblestone walls on each corner of it and then you're going to want to place the stone slabs on the top of that for a little shelter thing for the fireplace. And so that's pretty much it for this step and then the next step is going to be the uh, inside of the house and that's pretty much it for this step.
This step will be the finishing touches of the house and the interior of the house. I already did that, um, and I'm just gonna show it to you guys so you don't have to watch all the, you know, like a 40 minute episode of, of this. So there's the carrot farm. This is outside the house. And then there's a little flower garden on the outside. And I made, a sh I made a shelf there, and you can just place random things on top of the shelf. I did the carpet inside, and there's your basic stuff you're going to need. Um, there's the fireplace that we created in the last step, with the um, bookshelves right next to it and a shelf. Here's a little kitchen area. we got a uh, chest up there. Then I, um, of course, things, a little furnace place right there. And there's a little place you can store stuff, or you can make a basement down there. Um, here's the second floor, and that's the little cabinet place, and then here's there's a laptop right here um yeah and you can you can decorate this however you want it doesn't have to be like this um here i made a little sh bathroom um sink here's the the toilet and then there's a uh, toilet paper on the side um it's a cool trait that you can do and it really looks real too and so right next to that is the shower and so i went in here and i made uh like hot water see the little pixel right there and it's hot water and that one's cold water right there to turn on whatever you want carpet you get an item frame then put the carpet you want and then the switch on the outside is pretty cool um, there's the outside with the window and here's the bedroom little uh, storage cabinet place uh, where you can store your clothes and stuff like that little open window right here and um, you can go outside if you want but then the um, there's your beds you can put um, little put a little shelf up top and then little note note block right there and then this is a little stairway to your top deck um, you can do whatever you want out there. I didn't really do that much. I just put two little lawn chair things. And there's your little hut that you had up there. And it looks really nice. And so here's... So, um... There's the outside of it. And those are the, the test things that I did from earlier. And so there's a little... Uh, clothes hanger iron or whatever you want to say um i forgot i don't still don't know what to call that but um you put your clothes up there and you get item frame it's pretty cool and then they have little banners going across good finishing touch and that's pretty much it for this tutorial uh thank you for watching please like subscribe and that's it